All right, this is a short video of the new Unico Fun R1 Retro Game Stick. I noticed there was nobody on YouTube that has done a review or an unboxing yet. And in a sea of retro reviews uh, out there, I thought maybe I would start and uh, do this little unboxing and then I'll give you guys a preview once I set it up of exactly what it can do I'm pretty sure what it will be able to do so this is the Unico stick and I have to say I mean I'm a big guy I'm about six three and a half six four and you can see by my you know I've got big hands and this thing this is great this thing right away the second you take it out of the box feels like it weighs about 20 pounds it's better than any Pandora's box I own or any other ones I also in, um, own the Neo stick uh, arcade pro and I love it. I do. I love it. In fact, with this order, I ordered some uh, silicone overlays for it. I love it so much. But this thing is a cut above all of them. Now, it comes beautifully packed in this nice box, as you can see here. And it comes with a lovely... As you can see, it comes with a HDMI cable, as they all do these days. And your power supply. Interesting power supply. You have to get a step-down transformer, as you can see because of the voltage and I do have one of those I guess they didn't tell you about that <laughs> something you find out along the way yeah so I do have a step down transformer because of my old things love of Japanese games and vintage stuff which I'm sure if I start this channel up I will show you um, but going through this I mean this thing is all aluminum the only plastic you can see is the plastic knobs and the plastic buttons and they're actually good quality buttons this I don't know if they're Sanwa or any other, but they're, I'm not quite sure the spec on them, but they do feel pretty, uh, pretty premium, actually, for the quality. And uh, on the bottom, you'll notice, it's got the nice raised feet, which also is nice to allow cooling, and so it's good on a tabletop surface, and it comes with a Wi-Fi uh, adapter as well too so I guess there's that there'll be some interesting which connects onto here for I'm guessing Wi-Fi gaming that'll be interesting to see what that's all about and if you look on the back here this is where things get interesting um, okay so Sorry about this. This is being done on my phone, by the way. I, I don't have some fancy camera and podcast and stuff yet. I am looking into that and starting my channel up. Yeah, this is, hey, first the big journey starts with the first step, right? So anyway, back to this. Two USB ports, an HDMI out, and your audio video. It looks like an optical link. Oh, no, that's, pardon me, that's your actual, that's where you actually plug it in. Uh, local, your LAN cable. Uh, no, that actually is audio video. That's sure. There you go, your power. Um, and you do have a little card reader back here as well, too. So obviously that's where you'll be exploiting things down the road once they come up with a lovely workaround. Um, pretty sure I'm going to do some experimenting with it and see if the current Neo Geo Hack ASP works. And uh, we'll get back with some, some uh, reviews as to how this baby plays and to uh, what you can do with it. But I gotta tell you, honestly, for the money, for what I paid, it's a lot of money. It's like 300 US, but the quality is the best I've actually seen. And I gotta tell you, this thing is completely, like it's, it's beautiful, it's, it's all metal. So this is definitely something. And uh, I look forward to giving you my follow-up review. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy. Be good to one another.